Hi, Mrs. Knox here. So I'm going to get started um, on your unwritten love letters. I want to do a little mini lesson on dyeing the envelope. These are fun to do. In your package of supplies, you should have one business envelope. You need to decide what you want to make your dye bath out of. And what we're going to do is alter the color of these. So in my case, I'm going to, those of you that know me, I'm going to use a very, very strong cup of coffee. You need something to put the coffee in. This is the inside of a crock pot. So I know the coffee won't stain it. I'm going to dump the coffee in. Do it hot. Now if the coffee that you decide to use is old, or you save the grinds and remake a pot or a cup, whatever, just do it with hot. It makes a big difference. You also need to have something, and I'm going to use this piece of cardboard, that you can lay the envelope on while it's wet to dry. Okay? So I have my cup of coffee in there. I have my envelope. Envelope goes in. If you don't want to stain your hands, use a utensil. Put it, um, you're going to tap it underneath the coffee gently. And if you look, you can see it's inside there. The paper of the envelope is starting to absorb the color of the coffee. Exciting. Now, here's the thing. When paper is dry, it is very strong. When paper is wet, it gets weak. So you need to leave this in long enough to alter the color, but take it out before the paper disintegrates to nothing. So I'm going to move this over. I'm going to very carefully take the envelope out now, if you want to make creases in it, you could crunch it up before you put it in, but it gives you more wrinkles. You're going to notice that the envelope is self fragile right now, and you're going to want to lay it on the cardboard or, like, I used to use newspaper, but people don't get the paper anymore. We're going to lay it out on there, pat it down. Eventually, there we go, I use cardboard so you can see. This is the shape you want. You'll see that the hot coffee has dissolved the glue, okay? And it's released the envelope. So now that it's open all the way up, and this is the shape you want it to dry in. Don't panic if a piece of it rips. Let's pretend that when I took it out, it was so fragile that a part of it ripped. So I ripped it. Don't throw it out and say I can't use it, just very gently. Put it back together on whatever you're using to dry it out. Pat it down like that and let it dry. When it's dry, you'll use Elmer's glue to glue it to the background. It'll be fine, okay? Some other ideas for what you could dip your envelope in for colors would be a black tea. That's gonna give you another color, kind of like a, a different kind of brown. And believe it or not, onion skins, like when you go to the supermarket and get onions, they always have all these papery things that fall off. Save them. Make a dye bath out of that and you'll get a beautiful golden color. Okay? So, I have to leave this to dry and we'll move on to the next step in the next video. Good luck. Have some fun. Use um, other pieces of paper that are available in your household. Okay? Bye.